welcome to a big haul from my trip to America. I recently went to California to spend five days in Disneyland, but I also went to Target and some outlets. They were called the Outlets of Orange or Orange Outlets or something like that. I'll leave them below. They're really close to Disneyland. Basically got quite a good selection of things that I've been wanting that I had on my little list and some great things from Disney as well. So if you're new, hi, I'm Brogan. I make travel, home and lifestyle vlogs. And I've also just shared our full Disneyland trip five vlogs if you want to go and check them out I'll have them linked below thank you so much to all of you that did already watch the vlogs and have been enjoying them I really really loved filming and sharing our trip and we had a great time so without further ado let's start with Disney and then we'll go into Target and finish with the outlet so there's a nice mix with something for everyone and you can see the kind of thing I like to buy when I'm over in the US Disneyland I was obviously only there for five days but still managed to pick up a nice chunk of things I actually she didn't get a spirit jersey a lounge fly or a pair of ears although very tempted I didn't get any Disney clothing I have a pair of shoes to show you but I've got no apparel which is quite a shocker for me because they had some good pieces there were a few things I did like but nothing that I really loved and I know it looks like I buy a lot of Disney stuff and I do because it brings me so much joy I do try to be intentional and think about what I already have and I already have quite a lot of spirit jerseys that I'm not wearing a lot but you know there are a few things I do like to repurchase or buy again and I collect so you'll see that in this as well especially pins and pens I also like Christmas decorations and mugs so you're gonna get a mixture of all those things today but I actually don't know what's in each of the bags I seem to have accumulated a lot of the individual Disney Parks bags first thing is a Christmas decoration we always like to buy one per trip that we do and we like Christmassy themed decorations although we have lots of generic Disney as well we like to find Christmassy ones so this is part of their holiday cheer range which we also have some pieces from when we went to Florida last year it was $24.99 and it's basically a little bell with Mickey and a reindeer on one side and Minnie hugging a reindeer on the other. Now we actually really wanted to get it personalised because they do a personalisation where they paint and write things on it for you but we didn't have time so I am actually going to use my own Cricut machine and write the date or write Disneyland California inside the bell so we can remember which trip we bought it from. This is what it actually looks like. You can see the little holly and the bell on the top and then Mickey on the other side and then it's got an actual bell that makes a little noise inside too. I thought this was so gorgeous. We picked it together. It's the one and only Christmas decoration we got and yeah it'll make a lovely addition to our tree. Next item is a pair of Crocs. If you watch the first vlog you'll see this is the first thing I bought maybe or did I buy a pin first? I definitely bought these in the first shot because I've been wanting these for a while. I think they came out last year and they're not available in the UK. Didn't see them in Disneyland Paris so the minute I saw them in California I had to get them. These are actually my fourth pair of Crocs. I already own some Christmas ones from Disney that are fleece lined that I loved that I got last year in Florida and I wear them in the winter on dog walks but these I wanted to get for an upcoming trip I have where we are going on a cruise for two months and we're getting married on board so I thought my love of Disney and Crocs being quite a practical shoe to have around the ship and when we go to the beach and stuff but also the fact they're white I'm not that they're like bridal Crocs by any means but in my head I was like these are perfect so yeah they're just the basic generic Croc but instead of the standard holes they're obviously Mickey details instead love them very happy with them I actually found that these are slightly wider than the ones I have at home even though they are the same size so I'm not sure maybe they're just made slightly different but these were I cannot find the price so I'm gonna have to find out for you but I think they were about 50 or 60 dollars they were not cheap but I absolutely love them one of my favorite purchases and so liked to be able to bring back home as well I was really tempted to wear them on the plane why have I not worn crocs on a plane by the way because they are such good shoes for traveling but love them so let me know if you already own these or if they're on your sort of bucket list to buy because they were mine for ages so I'm really chuffed I have them now. The next items 
are a little random, but I've been collecting them for a while. So let me show you my current collection of Disney pens. I actually have this in a Disneyland mug, the 100 one, which is kind of perfect, actually. I got this on Shop Disney UK. But you can see that over the years, I've been collecting the pens. Now, these used to be really popular in the parks, and I have not seen them in Florida or Paris for a few years. So you can imagine my surprise when I ended up finding three that I knew I didn't have. So I'll get onto those in a minute, but you can see that I have a big collection. Some of them I've got duplicates of where I was gifted them. But yeah, I've got some really sweet ones, and no, I don't use them as actual pens at all ever I just love collecting them and how they look on my desk I even have a couple from Primark I think these were Primark ones that I um, found so anyway as you can see love them collect them <laughs> so the ones that I'm adding to my collection are these three so I have two Monsters University ones obviously Mike and Sully I'm not sure if you can fully appreciate them there but they have their little ears and they open up like this all of them do that instead of saying Disneyland on them they do actually say Monsters University but I don't mind about that they look cute and then I also got an alien from Toy Story and this one says Disney Parks on the handle they were $9.99 each plus tax on all the items obviously but they're so so adorable let's add them straight to my big pen pot here maybe we'll move the alien around somewhere else so that the colors blend ah oh! love it i'm fully aware that this is such a random thing to collect let me know if you have anything weird and random like i feel like pins and lounge fly bags and mini mouses are very generic and you know obvious but these are not so obvious the actual hunt for finding the pens is kind of half of the fun you know it's a bit like pin trading once you find one and you're like oh, i don't have that one in my collection it can be kind of fun before we move on to pins i also bought a lanyard this was 22 dollars, and we saw this when we got off the ride for it's a small world so the design is part of it's a small world ride and so is the actual lanyard but i just thought this would be very handy for our cruise next year because we always need a lanyard to have our cruise cards in i plan on having a, a few that i can rotate around i like the fact it was white and gold it matches loads of my outfits i just saw it and thought i actually kind of need that I sometimes buy lanyards for pin trading to put my pins on but actually the purpose for this one is to use it for cruising so that is that I love it. It's actually from Loungefly. It's got the Loungefly logo in there. So that's the next thing I bought. Pins. Okay, so if you know me even a little bit, you know I collect pins. I have several boards on my wall where I store them and display them. This trip, I have a mix of Halloween generic characters and I only have one specific Disneyland pin and I actually really struggled trying to find a Disneyland 2023 pin. I couldn't find them anywhere. I wanted a generic Disneyland and a Disneyland California Adventure but they just don't have anything like that at the moment. So the first two are actually available on Shop Disney UK but as I was there in person and they launched when I was out there I just thought I'd buy them whilst I was there. So they have a whole range of these with lots of the other characters but I just got Mickey and Minnie love them I think these are really beautiful pins I love the outfits this next one is also on shop Disney UK it's called the pumpkin king pin from the night before Christmas Jack does his thing as the pumpkin king it's really hard to say he's riding a toy horse it looks like this but I actually got it because I thought it looked a little bit like the headless horseman that comes out before the Halloween parade and I know it's not meant to but that's what it reminded me of and that's why I got it so that was another one for Halloween. Obviously had to get an Oogie Boogie Bash pin. I was so, so excited to get one because we did Mickey's Very Merry Christmas party last year and they didn't have any merch or pins exclusive for the party. So as I'm sure you can imagine, it was on my priority and bucket list to get the pin. I like a party pin. You can only buy them during the actual party as well. So we got this on the night of Oogie Boogie Bash and it looks like this. Really, really cute even says Disney California Adventure up there. The cast member actually told me that they had another one that sold out, but I was just happy for one. <laughs> I don't even want to know what the other one looked like in case I liked it more, but it doesn't matter. I got one and it was $19.99. I think this one was $11.99 was my cheapest pin, by the way. And I think this could have been my most expensive pin. Yeah. This one was $17.99, again available on Shop Disney UK, but I saw it in person and I picked it up because I really liked how it looked and felt. Hocus Pocus, the Sanderson sisters. It's actually the... 30th anniversary one and it's very subtle but so nice i think this is gonna look really good on the board and i love hocus pocus one and two but number one is 
kind of like the perfect Halloween film. I watch it every Halloween now. Then the only generic Disneyland pin I got was this one, which I absolutely love. It's the Toontown sign with Mickey. So it says, welcome to Toontown, which obviously I had to get. And I love the colors on it and the fact that it is a Disneyland specific pin. This was a special pin. If you watch vlog number two, you'll know we did a Disney 100 guided tour. And as part of the tour, they gave us a pin each. It's one of my bigger pins like I don't know if you can tell in comparison to the size of my hands and fingers but it's so lovely it's got Mickey in front of a castle and it actually says Disney 100 on the bottom I really love it and the card itself is quite nice too celebrating Disney 100 at Disneyland I was very happy to be given it it's such a nice gift as part of the experience then let's whiz through some of these generic ones so we have Flynn Rider Wanted really love this one look how cute that is I grew up absolutely loving Lizzie McGuire so I had to get this one I actually saw it didn't get it and then went back to try and find it and it took a few attempts but I found one. I don't have many Marvel and Star Wars pins and I like to find ones that I actually like. I know that's maybe a little silly but I thought these ones were perfect for me. So I have Groot with the flowers and I have a stormtrooper that says pew pew. I actually saw this in Florida last year and I regretted not getting it, this one. So I thought I would um, pick it up this time as soon as I saw it. So yeah, a Marvel and a Star Wars. There were quite a few Mary Poppins pins and I really, really love Mary Poppins so I saw this one on its own I think this might have been the first pin I got actually the very first one of the trip loved it I thought she looked so beautiful this one is so cute it says best date night ever Mickey and Minnie's runaway railway and obviously this is from the ride I haven't seen this one before so had to get this one it's actually quite a big pin but beautiful I got Pluto in his little house I think this one's been around for a little while but I have not seen it on any of my trips before we have a dog you know had to get Pluto last but not least I already own this version of Mickey with a camera that I bought on the last trip so when I saw Minnie with her shopping bags I knew that she's gonna fit perfectly on my board next to Mickey so I love this style of Minnie and Mickey. It's kind of like uh, the cartoon, I guess. Really cute, such a perfect little pin. Benji found this one actually and I was like, <gasps> you're coming home with me. I do actually have a few more pins that I bought in the outlets at Box Lunch. So I'm gonna show you those now, even though I've not finished with Disney stuff, just because I want all the pins to stay together. So let me show you these because these were such a good price. Box Lunch, I'd never been there before. They also had a Hot Topic. These stores basically have a lot of licensed merchandise from different franchises from, uh, well, everything basically. There was The Simpsons and Scooby-Doo and like, anything you could think of outside of just Disney, but Box Lunch had some really amazing Disney pins and they were all pretty much 9.90 or 10.90. So I got five and I'm so happy with these. So I had to show you these just while we're talking about pins. These are all official Disney pins, by the way, all licensed Disney. And these are part of the Disney 100 collection and they are exclusive to Box Lunch. And I absolutely love them. As you can see, they are the princesses, the kind of like mini posters. So we've got Ariel, Cinderella, and Aurora and it literally says on it Disney 100 100 years of wonder and then Sleeping Beauty Cinderella and the Little Mermaid with the logos from those films I just thought the detail was so perfect and sometimes with these pins the princesses don't look like them when they've been printed in small you know but I thought these were so beautiful if they had a whole collection with more I would have bought more but for now I got myself those three and I absolutely love them. This one was also part of the Disney 100 range. It's Tink, obviously, with Captain Hook in the background. And I thought this was so lovely, the detail, the little um, features on it and how Tink is looking with her wings. I just thought that was such a pretty pin too. So I got that one. And last but not least, this one was £9.90 and it's from Disney's Encanto and it's Mirabelle and Bruno, which was absolutely perfect because we actually met both of them. We met Mirabelle on day two and we met Bruno on day four in Oogie Boogie Bash. So I just had to have this pin. Things like this make me so happy because I will remember that I met them on that trip and I think this is perfect. Look at the detail. The actual pin itself is such gorgeous quality. The backing card, 
really love it and such a good price i wish we had a box lunch here i would be going pin mad every week we will return to more outlet things in a minute but let's carry on with disney because i've got a few more things to show you the next item i got was my one and only mug now i have noticed that there haven't been as many good mugs in the parks in the last few trips that i've done i've not really found any that i've truly fallen in love with and for me i just sometimes want a generic disneyland or walt disney world or disneyland paris mug and i find that the starbucks series is the best not only for the design but the actual size of the mug is perfect for a cup of tea or a coffee so i got the disneyland one i actually have this in a, a christmas decoration version but this one is so beautiful i loved the colors on it i haven't seen these colors before the purple and the yellow but it looks like this so it's got the disneyland logo and then a lot of you would have seen these mugs before but they are filled with details so many lovely icons characters features from rides and like i said the actual size of the mug is so nice because it's made by starbucks you know it's like it's like a good mug perfect size i love it it was 24.99 i'm actually not sure if disneyland's california adventure have their own one in their starbucks i probably should have checked but to be honest, I'm happy with one, one mug. I really didn't need more than one, did I? Let's face it. They actually have all the different nods to all the characters and things on the side of the box. And there are 26 icons in there, which is pretty epic, actually. So whoever's behind the design of this, I love it kudos to you this is very random but i bought this in the disney home store in downtown disney for bonnie i needed a new mat to go on the floor where her bowl of water and her food bowl goes obviously and i thought this was just so sweet it was expensive for what it is because i've bought much cheaper versions it was actually 19.99 but we have a gray and white kitchen and i just thought with all the mickey details this is on the floor we see it all the time every day I had to have it. It's one of those things that I know we needed. I liked it. I bought it. So yeah, the little bone shape. If you have a pet, do you have something like this? Because we love these for Bonnie stuff and it's a nice size. Not too big, not too small. The next thing to show you are some cards. So I started collecting these a few years ago and I love and appreciate the art they have in the gallery, the Wonderground Gallery. And they actually sell these small postcard versions and I love them in my office i rotate them on my glass writing board i have them pinned and at the moment i've got moana and ariel they faded a little bit in the sunlight so i wanted to replace them and get some new ones they are about 6.99 i think um, and they are all done by different artists so actually the th there's two that i've got from an artist called Anne shen and one by joey chu and joey chu chu i think that's how you say it he has the most beautiful ranges in the parks as well that i have a few pieces at home but this is the first one this is the madrigal family from encanto mirabelle at the front there with all of her family members i just thought this was so perfect encanto has become one of my favorite films i've watched it so many times now i recently saw it in um, concert with a live orchestra and that really solidified how much i love it in the music and everything so i had to get that one i thought the colors were really nice i got lady from lady and the tramp beautiful beautiful piece look at her so sweet with the bow i think my dog mummy loving heart just couldn't help myself and then i got tiana navid i thought this was nice this one's called happily ever after in the bayou and with the new ride coming it's going to be replacing splash mountain and tiana's palace that was there i just thought this was a nice one to get we did it didn't actually eat in the quick service but really beautiful colors and yeah i thought that was nice then a few freebies i always get the guide maps so i had to have the halloween versions of all of them we've got the Oogie big bash and then the pumpkin and oh it's the headless horseman i had to think about that for a second <laughs> that's so cool so yeah i've got my maps i don't know what i'm gonna do with them but i like having them <laughs> A few other freebie things as part of the tour. They gave us stickers. They gave us name badges. So I obviously kept these as well. Let's say Brogan and Benjamin on them. And they also gave us these buttons that you can get for free wherever you get your buttons for first time badge, happy, happily ever after, birthday, whatever. But we won these as a little quiz we were doing when we were waiting for the parade. And they say, honorary citizen of Disneyland Resort, where dreams come true. So I kept those two because we've never had those before. The last two things felt like freebies, but definitely weren't because <laughs> we paid for them basically. But these are weird measuring cups that they gave our cocktails to us 
in at Pim's Kitchen. They are actually legit measuring jugs in terms of they have the millilitres on the side. So I just thought these would be really handy at home. Plastic ones that you can chuck around in the dishwasher, whisk an egg in them or actually use them. So of course we kept these because why not? And if you watch the vlogs, we also got this little Luna star. Benji did the hook a star and win a prize for $5. And we got this one for Bonnie and I love it. It says Pixar Pier on one side and then the little winky star. And what's really funny is that this was the lowest smallest prize you could win they had bigger ones but we liked this one the best so we were hoping to win the small star as the prize so yeah I'll cut off these tags and Bonnie can have that as her little toy to play with it seems safe yeah it's fine the last thing to show you from Disneyland was the snacks obviously we did Oogie Boogie Bash they gave us these little bags that you put your candy in so you go around the different stations you can go and watch the vlog for that everyone fills up these bags really quickly so we had two bags and then we also started just putting putting some in our tote bags that we were having on our shoulders that night. And then when it came to bringing stuff home, we used these Ikea bags <laughs> to bring back as much as possible. So if you're doing a Halloween party, I highly recommend having some of these because this was so much easier to pack. Granted, it was heavy. I put them in hand luggage and yeah, it worked out. So as you can see, we have loads of candy or chocolate. So lots of uh, brownie M&Ms, which are amazing. Um, some Skittles, Milky Way, like their version of Milky Way, Twix. Um, oh, there's some other M&Ms down there, normal ones, and lots of Starburst as well. We're planning on enjoying some of these for ourselves, but also they're gonna make perfect chocolate for our trick-or-treaters here at home as well. So we're gonna put them in for that and yeah we couldn't not take them like we did all that trick-or-treating we may as well have them we also got some crisps which we ate um some apple slices which i enjoyed but benji not so much we also got some goldfish that look like this the cheesy ones i don't actually love these but i wanted to show you that we did get some of these and we had some of these giant graham cinnamon goldfish baked cookies that look like that don't love these as much either but benji quite likes them so we got a handful of those as well and then in terms of actual treats i will show you on the screen Screen. these were the treats we brought home so we had some sugar cookies rice crispy treats and I discovered churro toffees on this trip when I say churro toffee everyone thinks it's an actual churro but it's not it's like a toffee square that tastes like a churro in terms of it's got cinnamon on the outside it's a hard toffee inside but it's like crunchy you chew it and it tastes incredible it is definitely up there now as one of my all-time favorite Disney snacks and I'm really annoyed I didn't bring more home but in the moment when they're seven dollars fifty and you've spent like $50 on some snacks it kind of felt like you know we've got enough <laughs> I'm getting married soon I don't need snacks to last me forever and these things obviously are best consumed fresh but I also love buying the Rice Krispie treats in the packet and I got some for my friend Charlie so I got a bunch of these I'll keep one or two for me and I'll send the rest to her and her mum but I only got the birthday cake ones because I think these are the nicest but I will say I had one a couple of nights ago and it just didn't feel like the ones I've had in Florida. It didn't feel as fresh. And I've checked the dates and some of them are October and November, but I don't know. I'm not totally in love with them like I used to be. Like I could definitely miss these these days, but the white chocolate ones are much nicer than the normal chocolate in my opinion. So I got those. And the last snack I picked up, I was actually looking for my friend Charlie. She wanted the Graham cookies from Minnie's Bake Shop range. They did not have them at all. I looked everywhere, but I kept seeing the mini birthday cake cookies and I've never had any of these from any of this range before so I thought we could try them and see what they were like and if they are mind-blowing and a game changer then maybe we'll start buying things like this oh they come in a little packet actually they're really little they're actually very nice they're really nice I think dipped in a little cup of tea could be onto a winner would recommend if you wanted something different let's move on to target we had a target store less than five minutes walk away from our hotel which was absolutely perfect saved us doing a journey there and back to one but i will say it wasn't the best target i've ever been to it wasn't a super target or anything like that but because we've been to target within the last year there were a few things on our list that we wanted to get let's carry on with the snack theme i got my favorite m&ms i used to be obsessed with the caramel ones if you know you know the dark blue ones 
ones, they are amazing. But I've recently switched and I found that I like these a lot more. They are Crunchy Cookie in the light blue. Again, can't get these in the UK, which is why I stock up when I'm over in the US. I got three of these small bags, these sharing size, they do much bigger um, because this is all they had. Got some of my favorite M&Ms. We got two boxes of Milk Duds. I've actually never had these before, but Benji's mum loves them. So we got two boxes. I'm not sure Benji's giving her one and keeping one for us, but we have those and we also have Mike and Ike's. Again, I think Benji's dad likes these, which is why we have two. So two of those and we also got a reusable bag. So again, I'm not sure if Benji's giving them all to his dad or keeping one for himself, but these are the Mega Mix as well, which have loads of different flavors in. We got some of these last time and I loved them. They are peach rings. I don't think they're as common in the UK, probably, but I don't really care for the brand. It's just the peach rings. They're sugary nice chewy sweets i really like these and then we also got some drinks now people ask me about how we bring back so many drinks and the trick is we actually buy most of them in the airport so we did actually buy a pack of sprite in target so we got six of these and we drunk them over the course of the week i think we had a couple of bottles left the sprite and the fanta just taste different in the us we love them here in the uk as well but they're a lot sweeter slightly better I'd say over in the US so we really love these um, for having them at home so Benji always gets a few bottles of those and I love the Minute Maid lemonade this is my favorite I prefer this over Sprite if I'm in the US I think we got like five bottles of each and we put them in my hand luggage so the little case was half filled to get to the airport with the mug and the Christmas decoration and the chocolate that was really heavy. Then when we got there, the rest of the case we filled with bottles and that's how we did it. So we buy these, typically there's always somewhere in the airport that you can buy them. So that's what we do. And that's how we get them home to save using our actual hold luggage. Speaking of drinks, <laughs> the next things we bought, if you watch the vlogs, you'll know I was on the hunt for a new Awala water bottle. I already have one. I think it's by my bed right now, but I bought it last year in Target and I absolutely loved it that we went and bought Benji one. They are literally so good and I've not found anything else that fits the bill for us. So when we were there again, I knew I wanted another one. The reason being is my current one I'm gonna keep in my gym bag so I don't forget it. It's gonna be exclusively my gym water bottle and this one's gonna be my go-to day to day. So I got this one, they had a variety of colors and I went for the green, I thought this was lovely. I also went for a bigger size. So my gym one is 19 ounces and this one's 24. And the best thing about these is that it's got this little clip which you can use to lock the bottle and also carry it like this. And then this is the little button that opens up and it's got a built-in straw and they keep your water cold for hours and hours. We just absolutely love them. They're leak-proof, insulated, built-in straw. I says, I know, where have I been all your life? <laughs> exactly. They are so great. And they're also not too heavy either. You know, sometimes bottles like this can be heavy. They're not. So I had to get a new one. Absolutely obsessed. I'm a massive Awala water bottle fan now. You can actually get them in the UK you can order online I'll leave them linked if you want to go and check them out but you do pay a premium which is why I wanted to get one in Target so while I was there I also picked up the Stanley version of the Awala cell with a straw and a big handle this is going to be perfect for long car drives or like I said next to my desk if I want a um, cup with a straw like this uh, amazing I love that it's smaller at the bottom the reason for this is so it can fit in the cup holder and yeah it says I'm a big fan of road trips which is quite sweet so you can put the straw in or you can use it like so yay happy days i would have loved if they matched but <laughs> can't ask for too much when i almost couldn't find them in store at first they were by the camping equipment they weren't in the water bottle equipment they were by camping and outdoor stuff which is weird because you'd think all water bottles would be together but no 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 speaking of being outdoors we also picked up some sun bum you can get this in the uk but i did some checks and maths and they were $17.99 dollars so they worked out like i don't know 14 15 pounds uh, which is much cheaper than the UK. I think it's about £20 a bottle in boots. So I thought, well, we save a little bit of money. We always need it. We're going to be needing to stock up when we go on our trip next year, when we're away for a few months traveling. So factor 50, three bottles of these, had to get them. This is also quite random, but we got a couple of bottles of Advil. I'm not sure if the milligrams are the same as what we can get in the UK, but the convenience of having these in a screw top bottle is so ideal at home. When Benji had his open heart surgery, 
surgery and he was going through his recovery and he was taking medicine and medication he loved having them in the bottles and because we like these bottles so much we also got them in the mini version we've got the advil and the tylenol which is just their version of paracetamol and ibuprofen basically tylenol is actually extra strength this is 500 milligram and the advil is 200 mil so when i've got a really bang in migraine and headache i'll go for one of these but they're just great for travel and then what we do is we actually keep these and we refill them with the big pots it's become a little thing that we've started doing and it works i saw this tiny little jar of vaseline and i just thought that was so cute for travel as well i often get really sore lips so i thought that would be handy to have i'm sure you can get that in the uk but you know when you see it and you're like that's so stinking cute a little box of q-tips the actual brand is called q-tips they come in this nice little plastic container which again i was thinking for travel in mind i got some tic tacs for my car these are actually the strawberry and cream flavor i've never had these before but i like having a tic tac on the go thought i'd try those see what they're like we got our favorite straws by the brand Ello. we've bought these before from target and know we love them so bought some more they are the best silicon reusable straws they are nice and thick so they're really nice to have in any sort of drink you get a little travel box too so each one individual straw fits in there which is so perfect for in your handbag and you get a little brush cleaner so had to get more of these the minute we saw them in target i was like yes they are the best so got those just in case you watched the vlog yes i did bring back the bowl <laughs> i bought this so that i could have some cereal for dinner on night two and i bought it back it was 75 cents but i thought this is actually quite a good bowl for traveling with bonnie to put her food in because we use obviously big heavy food bowls and this is kind of perfect for a travel bowl for her so i kept it we're going to move on to sephora next but these things i actually bought in target so i got a real techniques sponge i've not been a massive sponge gal i usually always use a brush but i recently bought a cheap one in tk maxx and i'm quite enjoying it so i thought i'd try the real techniques version when i saw it i don't know if this is cheaper in the us or the uk but just as i was there and i saw it and i also got another one of my favorite mascara right now which is the tarte tartlet mascara i checked when i came home and it was definitely cheaper out in the us in target so that's everything in target let's move on to what i got in sephora and then we'll do the outlets so we actually went to sephora at downtown disney i've just ripped the bag <laughs> but I kept it all in the bag to show you. I treated myself to some lovely new things. And again, some of these things you can get at home in the UK, sometimes you can't. But I have been on a bit of a journey with my makeup and I'm basically trying to do my own makeup for my wedding day next year. So I've been trying lots of products and I've been experimenting and treating myself. And instead of paying for a makeup artist, I thought I'd invest in the makeup. So I got some really lovely Charlotte Tilbury stuff a few months ago. So with that in mind, I wanted to have a few more pieces. So I I have been trying the um, liquid bronzer, but I don't love it as much as a powder. So when I saw this, I thought this would be perfect. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow light to medium palette i loved the size of this it's so cute it's got a massive dent in it which is annoying i should check that i thought this would be really good for travel you can see it's very beautiful perfect colors for me with the highlighter and the bronzer next thing also from charlotte tilbury i got the airbrush flawless finish uh, perfecting micro powder i already love and use this but i just thought i'd get the mini version for my handbag when i go to events i get very sweaty and <laughs> i always need a powder so i thought this would be really perfect it's in number one fair next i bought the wow color wow dream coat supernatural spray I got served an ad for this on Facebook of all places and I screenshotted it and told myself if I saw it I would get it again you can get it in the UK but in Sephora they had small versions you know by their like travel bit when you check out so I thought I'd give it a go in the small size and this is meant to be amazing for um, keeping your hair straight so you use it on towel dry hair separate the sections and then blow dry and it's meant to just help with frizz and keeping it nice and smooth and straight so that's what i wanted to achieve i've straightened my hair today and look at it like it is already so frizzy just from being in the heat and the lights and i definitely think that i'll really appreciate it so i'm gonna try it the next thing i got was the tarte creaseless concealer and this is a mini version because i wanted to try it how adorable is this i love a mini 
product anyway but again I just thought I wanted to try it for my wedding day because I'm trying a few concealers but they're all very cheap high street ones I did a little color match in store and um, this looked like it'd be perfect so again a nice one to pop in my handbag or when I go to an event perfect 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 but we'll see how I get on with it if I love it I'll buy a bigger version but I love that they do mini stuff in Sephora it's amazing I found the receipt so the Charlotte Tilbury bronze and glow was $29 the dream coat was $12 the Tarte concealer was $14 powder was $28 so actually that was quite expensive for how small it is the next thing I got was this for $30 which I am obsessed with this is the Sol de Janeiro brand I actually bought myself one of these in Target last May I got the bum bum cream which is when I first discovered it and it comes with the shower gel the spray and the cream and I recently got sent the beige beige floor I think it's called so when I saw they were doing a travel size version of this I had to get it I thought this would be perfect to take on my trips I also like the little bag thought I could take this away on future travels got a little shower gel too and the spray I haven't tried the spray actually but this is such a nice gift set $30 I should have got a couple as Christmas gifts actually because it makes a really nice gift I also picked up one of these on the till I didn't know we were going to Bath and Body Works so keep that in mind but it's by the brand Touchland and it's one of their power mist the person that was serving me I asked them what their favorite scent was because there were so many and I just, just panicked and she said the blue sandalwood so I picked that one up let's try it oh yeah that's actually really nice oh I really like that oh yeah that's really nice oh I'm glad it smells nice I think I would have been really disappointed if it didn't <laughs> The last thing was actually a freebie because I missed my birthday and I'd signed up to Sephora's reward program. This is basically the happy birthday gift. I don't know if they change things around, but it's got a multi stick in there and a mascara. So we're not gonna say no to a freebie, thank you very much. We'll see how I get on with those. More makeup for me to try. We are nearly there. There is a huge pile of stuff next to me, but the final things were from the outlets. So as I said, we went to the outlets on our very last day, the very end of the trip, so you can see that in our fifth and final vlog. We mostly got stuff for Benji. He really loves stocking up on t-shirts and he got some golf stuff, some really good clothing pieces that will last him ages. So we were really chuffed that we got some good things but I got a few things for myself as well so we went to Bath and Body Works did not think I'd be going this trip so ended up getting hand sanitizers there as well but not mad at it always need them we didn't buy any candles we did fall in love with a few but we didn't buy one they were very good price there was a whole rack of them that were like $13 for a candle which is pretty good but we can get a lot of them in the UK right now so the only thing that we thought we'd take back just to save on the weight <laughs> were the hand sanitizers we got black cherry merlot which we've had the the candle of this and it's amazing this one's called lakeside life which i thought was very nice this is fresh rainfall which again it just smells very fresh and quite simple not too overpowering this one is one they have all the time the warm vanilla sugar and the last one is actually the one we liked in the candle format this is the strawberry pound cake this smells amazing it literally smells like a bakery oh my gosh it smells so good <laughs> we went to airy which i don't think i've shopped or bought anything from Airy before but they were so lovely the people in there were really nice and friendly and they had some nice changing rooms and I bought four things so the first things I bought were some bralettes I hate normal bras if you watch my pack with me videos you know I basically only wear Primark bras the thin ones that are like this that are just bralettes so when I saw that they had a whole wall of bralettes I had to get them this is part of their smooths range smooths um, and it was originally $39.95 but I ended up getting quite a lot of discount for signing up to their rewards program I think I got 15% off uh, so I didn't pay full price for anything but this is just a, a bog standard plain bra but when I tried it on it was so soft and thin but supportive like it's got quite a thick back I got this white one which was $39.95 it's got a nice um, design on it it's like a nice pattern it feels very soft and smooth and again tried it on and it just felt lovely I got extra large in both of them and then this next thing I tried on in both the t-shirt and the hoodie and I ended up getting both because I liked it so much so it's basically this pizza design on a t-shirt on the front it says famous smiley pizza and on the back it's got this really cool design don't know if you can fully appreciate it but with a, a pair of shorts this is such a fun 
tee but I loved the jumper version so much as well so of course I got the jumper I got this in a large and it's kind of oversized and baggy and it's going to be perfect with leggings working at my desk you can already see this now like so cozy and lovely so I got that as well and the last thing I picked up were a pair of trainers and I ummed and ahed over these but they were such a good price I couldn't help it so these are the Adidas Ultra Boost Light Trainers. I recently invested in the plain white version. Benji has them as well. And we wore them all around the parks and I'm planning on wearing them for the gym and future trips and everything. They were so, so comfortable. Just the best trainers that I have ever invested in. I also really love the brand Hoka. Is that how you say it? H-O-K-A. But they wore away really badly at the heel, whereas these have got a lot of padding in. So I basically bought the pink version. Uh, they were $129, so about £100, whereas they were £170 in the UK. Had to get those. They were super light to bring home as well. I left the box in the store <laughs> and just bought them home like this. So I did buy the trainers, which I'm very happy with. And that, my friends, is everything I bought in the five days that I was in the US. Pretty Pretty impressive when you think about it. Um, I gave myself a little bit of spending money and I absolutely maxed it. So I really feel like I got some great things, lovely Disney things I collect and love, some great makeup and beauty stuff. The Walla water bottles were a must for me in Target and those clothing things on the outlet were great as well. So hopefully you enjoyed seeing everything I got. Let me know your favourite things that I picked up or if this has given you any inspiration for your future trips to Target or to Disney. I really appreciate it if you gave this a thumbs up leave me a comment and subscribe so you don't miss future hauls and vlogs that I do especially Disney ones we're going to Disneyland in Hong Kong next year so you don't want to miss that and like I've mentioned a few times our big cruise so if you want to check out more about that trip and what we're doing I'll leave that linked below and in the cards above thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you again in my next ones